Thank you very much. We're the Queen's Cartoonists. Are you guys ready to hear some music from cartoons? All right. When I moved to New York, I was looking for a way to bring musicians to me. Instead of me having to go to like every bar and every club and to try to meet people. And we all live in Queens, so I put so Queens, and then I made it with an apostrophe so that maybe it just sounds a little more like, maybe it's Queens, New York, or maybe we work for the Queen of England, I don't know. But it has Queens in there and has cartoons in there. What I liked about this show is that a little bit of something for everybody. And it's hard to find that because, you know, I always say about children's shows or things for children, the way that makes them really good is if they're good enough for the parents. I had forever this idea in my mind of mixing the golden age of animation with the golden age of jazz. And to take these old films and to sort of breathe new life into them by showing them and performing the soundtracks live. I started the band, um, the, the first rehearsal had all the same people in it that, that you saw today that are still performing. It's been the same musicians since the beginning. I'm from Bulgaria originally, and I started playing music when I was 12 years old, maybe 11, first started the guitar and then I started playing drums. I started uh, in the sixth grade. <laughs> uh, I played piano before that, but then my friend wanted to join the school band. I said, all right, sure. What do we, you know, what instrument do we play in the school band? And so he was like, well, I, I have a trumpet, so. I just followed his lead and we played trumpet in the band. And then I played ever since then. These concerts are very much theatrical show as well, so when I'm looking for new pieces, I have to think of how they fit in the arc of the show. Because we'll do maybe 20 pieces in a, in a concert, 15 to 20 pieces, and you know, that has to have a, a journey that the audience can go on. The audience is usually adults. We encourage people to bring kids. Um, the concert is not for children. We don't do anything for children, but children enjoy it because they get to watch movies, they, uh, I tell jokes, music is fun and entertaining, and kids really like it. Um, but generally speaking, most of the people that come are adults. My favorite reaction that I get from an audience member is someone will come up and say, well, I didn't really know what to expect, and I saw it, and now I, st I still don't know what to expect, even after, because it was constantly changing, and things were happening, and it would be funny, and then it was serious, and then it was really crazy, and then it would be slow, and it would change so fast. So that's what I like to hear from, from audience members. I, I want it to be like a journey we're taking people on, um, and they never know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> I don't think I've ever smiled this much. See, that's what I want to hear, because that people remember that, and then we get asked back. Were you impressed with the bike riding and the trumpet playing at the same time? Yeah, weird. It's a weird trick, but when he told me that, and I was like, it's going in the show. He was like, how? And I was like, well, think of something. <laughs> and then we fly with that everywhere we go. This is my first time seeing something like that live, bringing the, the live music and the cartoons on the big screen behind it. 
Uh, it, was, it was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Music behind movies and cartoons and things like that. Uh, and it was incredible to see it all come to life on stage. Uh, and the energy that these guys bring, amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> We do a good amount of touring. Uh, obviously, we did not play much during COVID, but this year we have maybe close to 45, 50 shows that we travel. We're going to different countries. We have to adjust the concerts to reflect you know, where, where we're going. Um, for example, when we go to Europe, we always try to include films from local countries. So we're taking it out of the American context and we're adding in elements from other cultures as well. There is a different reaction in Europe. People are very uh, appreciative in Europe and they clap, clap, clap. Uh, but in, in America people will clap and laugh in, in the concert a lot more. And in Europe they're very quiet and then at the end they clap forever. And so it's, it's, a, very, it's a different way of attending a concert. Like if I tell a joke, in America people will laugh, in Europe sometimes it's, they don't laugh. <laughs> but, I, but I think they enjoy it the same, it's just a different kind of audience. The most common thing that people usually say is, wow, this was so amazing, we had no expectations whatsoever when we came and we didn't know what to expect because it's such an upbeat and fun. <laughs> It's a really good feeling to see people happy after the concert. I think it's I think it's super interesting. I think it's really a good niche to be filled. I think it's something that can really help out the music industry, give a place for all of those sort of um, classical musicians to really find their place. And as well, I think it's a really fun show, and I definitely recommend it. We have our main show, which is what we usually perform, uh, but we do have a holiday show. Uh, we do a lot of holiday music around you know in November and December. Uh, we also are working on an international show, which includes cartoons from all over the world. Uh, amazing, like that's my probably going to be my favorite one, just because we have you know cartoons from China and from Argentina, some Europeans trying to incorporate Bulgarian cartoons. We also have an adult show, which is you know just for adults, kind of like a, a little darker humor in it as well. Well, what I'd like to see in Queens is more venues um, so that people are coming to Queens to see jazz and more opportunities for younger people to sort of grow up with the music and be able to interact with the musicians that are already working.